Hello guys, it's Jimmy here and welcome to another episode of Richard Burns Rally Season Mode. Firstly, I want to very quickly apologise for not really keeping to a schedule with this. I've been very busy with essays and it was kind of stupid of me to try and start a new series. Um, well, I've got so much work due in. Uh, also, I've been doing uh, a little bit of streaming as well and uh, it's kind of taken its toll uh, on me, uh, on my... <laughs> Kind of uh, my sleeping schedule. I've got a couple of ulcers in the inside of my mouth, and it's quite hard to talk. So I'm kind of uh, talking might not be as quite as enthusiastic as normal at the moment, but uh, I'll be doing my best. Uh, anyway, uh, today we're in Finland at the uh, the Arctic Rally. Uh, basically, it's a snow rally, and uh, you may have seen a stage of this from when I uh, uploaded the Twitch highlight of the Audi S1. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> uh, but this time we're going to be in the Citroen, so we're a bit more a bit more tame, but hopefully a bit quicker and uh, yeah basically snow and fun lots of sliding lots of brilliantness brilliantness is that a word no let me get this uh, last time we came fourth um, we're still leading the championship but obviously we want to do better than fourth so fingers crossed we'll do better than that today I haven't decided whether I'm going to make this a double episode yet to kind of make up the fact I uh, was slacking a little bit so we'll get to halfway and we'll see how my uh, how my mouth feels <laughs> so let's get into it shall we Okay, so must uh, must a selka must I can't say that. Whatever. Okay, so snow tires very thin. I think this is a stage that I raced in the Audi. No, I'm not sure. We'll find out. Let's get in the show. Let's just stop thinking and start doing. Three, very dark two, for uh, eleven a.m. I guess it's a snow rider. Let's go. Okay, so. Something to worry about snow rallies is the momentum carries. You have to be very careful. Don't be too aggressive with the throttle. Now you can say that with a lot of other stages, but uh, snow is definitely the uh, one of the more difficult surfaces to drive on, even with these big old snow tyres. Well, small snow tyres, I guess. Just uh, taking my time first, because. Uh, I went off a bit too quick in the last rally, and that cost me, I think, it cost me my uh, any chance at a win or even a podium. If I catch air telling you how I'm going to be slow and steady. <laughs> Clever Jim. Oh god. Yeah, so uh, after last episode, we had a nice bit of uh, reception from Grip TV. People have messaged me and. Uh, come over to the stream, which is really cool. So obviously, that the, the invite is still there. People to come pop over to the stream and be part of our, our network. Uh, I explained it in the last video. I'm not going to explain it again, but uh, there'll be a link below and there'll be information on my Twitch page regarding that. So that'd be cool. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's the uh, the bar first 12 hours this weekend. I don't know if any of you guys are going to be watching that, but I'm uh, pretty looking forward to it. I'm pretty looking forward to it. My God, my, I'm. My speech is pretty bad at the moment because I'm very tired for one and because it hurts <laughs> for another. But um, yeah, I'm looking forward to sitting down with a uh, big old mug of beer and just watching that. I know the, uh, the Super Bowl happened recently and that was uh, everyone else's excuse to get drunk and watch sports and I don't really like any other sport like motorsport so uh, now it's my turn. I wonder if anyone's going to host any kind of Session I racing with uh oh, got a handbrake turn. No no no, that's late. Yeah, session I racing kind of a long bar first race, that'd be pretty cool. I know the uh the Proto GTs are there this week, so I might actually race that. I might race in the full GT, I've been doing some practice. Uh got down to a two oh seven point four so far. I have no idea what decent time is around there, it's probably a bit a bit quicker than that, but it felt quick and uh I could do it pretty much consistently, so it's a a good thing in those races because attrition does come into your position at the end. Scandinavian flick. <laughs> failed one. I always love doing failed Scandinavian flick because I'm quite funny about them. I just didn't turn them. I just thought the hammer would turn me for some reason. Oh dear. You see how like you do a lot of steering with a throttle in the snow. Not so much as done with the actual steering wheel. I was saying that, you should see how much I'm moving it right now. It's uh, not quite as much as I did with the Audi, but 
you know, it's, it's still not <laughs> static by any, by any stretch of the imagination. Oh yeah, I'm also going to use this time to talk about other things, I think, today, because uh, I'm trying to focus on driving, I don't want to talk about it at the same time right now. Um, the recent downtime with iRacing, uh, recent ish happened last week, and just about back to normal service now. Um, I read a lot of, kind of opinions about it on the forums, and uh, obviously I have my own, which I'll, I'll say at the end, and I'll let you guys know what I think about the whole situation. But everyone seems to be in the boat of, it's it's fine, don't worry about it guys, you know, cool, take your time. Which is nice in one aspect, it shows community, that the people that, you know, don't mind that their sim is down. But what people seem to forget, and here, um, here's where my opinion comes in, is that it's a, uh, a paid service, you pay for it. And for well over half that week, uh, we were not being given the service that we we pay for. Now I'm not one of these guys that's running around the forums demanding compensation because I know that there are clauses and terms and conditions that kind of one let RS and get out of that and two like it's just it happens it does happen. What I disliked about it is that I had to go to the forums to find out if anything was going on first of all uh, when they were working of course uh, there w I did later discover that there was a tiny, small snippet that you could click a link to on the home page to see what was going on. But um, again, that was when the, the home site worked. And that Twitter was pretty much silent, apart from, look, people have bought us pizza. <laughs> Great. Are you fixing stuff? No? Are you eating pizza? Um, I don't mean to sound like a complete dick, because I know that things go wrong and it's just it's a human effort at the end of the day and I can't just like go, oh, yeah, do it all. but they just seem so blase about the whole thing and everyone seems to be like yeah it's fine I don't care everyone's everyone in I race seems to be too rich for their own good to care about losing some money I'm not I might have a T500 but I'm not a rich guy this was the result of a lot of saving and a lot of G27 get rid of anyway end of stage 534 uh, is that a good time We'll find out, I guess. It felt like a pretty solid drive, despite the fact that I was trying not to, like, slur my words. Wow, okay, that was a solid drive. We knew had a minute. I have to evade a reindeer. I've never seen any reindeer in these rallies. Yeah, but it seems that, like, uh, we have a bit of an advantage over the AI in this particular setting. Maybe they're slow on, on snow. Like they are on F197 when you go against them in the rain on the PS1. The F1 is awfully slow. The F1? The AI, sorry. That's a really weird game to reference, but that came to mind. I think I'm doing a video on that soon, but my uh, mod for F1 96.97 won't install properly, but we'll see. Anyway, stage two. There's something else I want to talk about as well. Um, while I'm here. This is kind of, I don't know why it's, it's coming to mind. I think this is of uh, this involves a couple of friends really, and it's frustrating. Wait, is it not right? I need to focus on these corners because I'm missing a lot. Sweet. There you go. Um, a friend of mine recently wrote a post on the Steam forums about a set of Corsa, uh, about how the GT, the, the racing cars, are a bit too good. They're a bit too fast, they're a bit too good at stopping, a bit too, a bit too grippy, you know, they're just a bit too fast in general. And I agree, I agree a lot. Like, I've, he backed up his argument with videos and whilst, you know, the videos aren't conclusive, like, oh, this is definitely the same thing, there was a video of an LMP car uh, braking at the same distance from roughly the same speed um, as the, the BMW GT3 car, I think it is, or GT2, still, regardless, LMP was braking at the same point. So obviously the, the BMWs are braking too deep in the game. And the amount of fanboyism like that was just encountered on that thread. People were defending this game with their lives set of course and saying that it's you no know, it's perfect, it's the best sim ever. Guys, it's still it's, it's still in beta. <laughs> it's still in be it's not done yet. If you think like that's the best thing ever, they might as well just go back to playing point one. But you know that's perfection right there. It's in progress. It won't be done for a while yet. And when it comes out it still won't be perfect. Nothing will be perfect, otherwise there will be no other racing games around. You wouldn't still be playing iRacing, you wouldn't still be playing R52. And 
who also know this exists on pretty much every game series, every platform, every console, everything. It exists everywhere. It's just really frustrating to see amongst sim racers because I always thought the sim racers were, well, I do still think that they you are, know, but they're quite a, you know, a logical bunch. We like our stuff real, we like our stuff realistic, and we are joined together when things aren't realistic. Uh, it's the same with iRacing as well. I enjoy I, I enjoy racing a lot. Um, I love playing it online. I think it's un unrivaled online, and that, that comes from playing pretty much every other sim as well. But the physics aren't the best. They aren't they aren't bad by any stretch, but they aren't the best. And yet there are people who will again defend it to the death. And it, it's just I don't know. I wish people could be more objective sometimes and. You know, Richard Burns Rally is an example. Like, I'm, I've never driven in snow before. Well, I have, but not in a rally car. Um, I don't know if this is easy or not. Like, the fact that I'm all able to hold that conversation while I'm, you know, drifting this car through the forest in snow. Maybe I'm just very talented. That's probably it, definitely. Just let you know, guys, there's quite a big hint of sarcasm there. Uh, if you uh, didn't guess already. I'm quite enjoying this trailer actually, it's just waking me up a little bit which is nice, I was pretty sleepy before and this kind of discussion slash driving is waking me up which is good because I have work to do. Essays are fun. That's, that's another reason guys why I haven't been making videos as much. Like I explained before, like they, they take longer to make than streaming does to stream. And um, you might go, oh well, yeah well, you, know, you can still do it. Yeah I can but uh, I do. I'm a photography student. I do photography, um, and as a university degree, which is a degree, I, do, I will come along. Uh, I'll be a uh, bachelor of the arts after this. Oh, that sounds like good. Is that is that how you, is that what it is? I think it's, it's pronounced that way. Oh God, don't roll. Um, but anyway, getting off topic a little bit. Um, I have to do a shit ton of coursework for that, and because there, there are no exams, because you can't really mark photography with exams where well, you can mark you know, technical knowledge but that's about it and yeah so I'm very busy a lot of the time and uh, which is why streaming is often the, uh, the alternative. That's the first kind of mistake we've made there, the big mistake. Anyway 4.15 did we eat AI again? We did indeed. We are leading by a fair chunk now which is good considering the results of uh, you know, last time around when we messed up and just everything went wrong Okay. Stage three. Is this the stage that I want to drive? I think this is the stage. There's a stage that I did with the Audi that I want to drive again. Because I'll, I'll look at the time after I've done this video and I'll see like how they compare. Because the Audi felt very quick, obviously, because it was a big straightaway where so you could really get the power down. But um, I'm not sure how quick it actually is. Oh. Uh, we also did a, um, a stage in the dark online because using our RS RBR you can do that. <laughs> How fun. I really need to try that um, that dirt game that Empty Box is playing. I, I'll have to go to his channel and see what it was so I forgot what it was called. I really want to give that a go because I've been really enjoying the off-road driving recently. Especially in uh, RS RBR, the Escort Cosworth, because I'm basically a massive chaff from England, so I love that car to bits. Friends of horsepower, turbo, hilarious rear wing, what's not to love? I'm also driving the, uh, the 306 Maxi, which is one of the my favourite rally cars as well, the kind of kit car, just because of the way it sounds and the way it just shifts on some tarmac rallies and all that was fun. I don't like driving the front wheel drive cars on anything that isn't tarmac, but um, it makes sense for the tarmac. Everything comes together. Oh, getting sideways. Oh yeah, something else as well, sorry, I'm, I'm trying to going through my mind ticking things off for what I've talked about and what I haven't talked about. Uh, you may notice if you follow the stream that I've been doing the truck races, um, the C-Class the, the fixed 
and I'm currently leading my division. <laughs> I'm currently first in the championship. It is division four, so it's not exactly you know the, the prestigious or prestigious, but I'm leading, and it's quite funny to me because obviously uh, it's my first two well rounds of truck that I've ever done in my life. So um, I'm saying something probably controversial on that. I think it's a bit easier to go from road racing to oval and it's good to over to road racing because you already learn a lot of throttle control from uh, from road racing and uh, that and kind of taking the appropriate line is a lot of oval racing so uh, I don't know which which one's more entertaining to drive I don't know but uh, I think oval's easier and I think that I'll probably have someone kill me in the comments of saying that I don't think this is the stage I took the Audi around. It's, yeah, I think it is. It looks quite similar. It's always really scary getting speed up in these stages because you know if you make a wrong move, it's going to carry it all into a, into a tree or something. That was nice. The bank helped us around there. Big jam. I was really sad to find out that the uh, the massive jump wasn't in the actual. Uh... Oh god! Oh shit! What? I'm pretty sure I would go through that in real life, but oh, come on, Jim. Apparently not. Okay. I broke my car, and now I'm doing. I'm being too over the top. The steering. Being too promiscuous of a steering, I know that isn't the right word to use, but I think it sounds hilarious in that context. So I'll, uh, I think I'll use it more often. I've always found steering more sexy anyway, so you know, maybe it's the right word. Again, hint of sarcasm there. Please, please detect it. Oh. Someone on my stream was commenting about my the sounds I make when I go wide at a corner. I never noticed that I make sounds. They're kind of just a, a natural natural reaction to me fecking up. Oh, sh oh, sh oh, oh god, there is. I noticed that one. The, sh the, the shame is, well, the shameful thing is, shameful thing? No, the bad thing is I won't be able to compare this to my Audi time now because I crash. The Audi realm wasn't flawless, but I didn't lose a massive amount of time. Well, that's a fun bit. This is going to be painful. Don't roll. You spent a lot of time in this these snow stages being quite, quite some angle. It's part of the appeal, though, and part of the fun. That was probably what I didn't even mean it to be. I love when I pull the handbrake and it all goes well. Normally it ends up with me either stalling or just like doing a full free, uh, 180 and just, yeah, messing up the oh dear, part of the stage I meant to go through. I had full lock on there so I was quite lucky to get around. I tend to find that if you go full lock then you're going to have like an incident because you're putting a bit too much steering in. It's only really good for tight corners. Uh, I keep hitting that bank, it slows you down. Can I have some power? There it is. Oh. How did I get out of that one? <laughs> I can't I, I came up in that bank pretty quick there on the uh, on the inside, just like that one, and the roll, it's come, it's come. Oh man, I got I got raped there by that bank. That's what happens when you, you get a bit too confident. You start cutting a bit too much, then you end up crashing. I know the end of the stage is really close as well, so that's quite frustrating. Well, this is yeah, there it is, the same stage as the Audi, because I was looking at the time. Uh. We still win the stage? Just? 
Oh, by 11, 11 thousandths we win the stage by. That's insane to uh, Gugliotti? Gugliotti? Oh, that's a really horrible name to say. Um, you know what guys, to hell with it. I uh, I didn't keep to my schedule so I'll put out, I'll do, I'll do a double episode if you stay. We'll just keep going, it'll be a long air episode. And I just won't speak for the rest of the day. <laughs> <laughs> ah. I don't, after this my kind of knowledge of the stages go a bit fuzzy. So let's see how we do. That plan safaris. Three, Never two, really associated the word go. safari with that plan or snow, but there you go. <laughs> you see you get to the point where the wheels to start spinning and you can remember to keep your foot down and like maintain the uh, momentum you're carrying and not have to worry about spinning. I nearly twatted one of the photographers there with the uh, rear of the car. Be nice photographers guys. Speaking from experience, I don't like being told to go away. <laughs> oh. Man, I I'm, I'm due to get new internet soon as well, so like I really can't wait for that because it means I can upload videos quicker, which means I can put them out quicker, and I can stream better quality, which means that the stuff from the stream I won't actually be like afraid to upload because it'll actually look nice and not really horrible. Whoa, jump! That's how I got in the throttle. Then that's really weird place to get in the throttle, but oh well, still going. The AI is really slow on the snow. Slow snow. Easy right. Easy left. Oh, feck. Me and those banks, we're, we're getting acquainted. I've, yeah, so I've, I've driven on the snow in real life. It was in a, uh, a real wheel drive MR2 though, so. Uh, Mid engine and that thing so didn't like going in anything that wasn't completely bone dry. Also rolled a car as well. I tell you, it's quite terrifying. <laughs> so obviously I'm. Uh, this is this is my life experience coming down to this particular stage. You get you know real racing drivers playing Sims. You know I, I've rolled a car, so I'm, I'm more than licensed to do that in a video game. <laughs> oh my God, Jimmy, what are you doing? Please don't roll it again. Jimmy, stay on the feckin' course. Go on Colin McRae and just like, cutting chunks of the course out. Because YOLO. And we're still ahead by 17 seconds despite having a massive roll. And then being in the trees for a little bit. And also cutting every corner. You rolled again. Okay, this this bank is different to the last one. Kind of drops off instead of backing you back onto the track. Maybe the snow on the edge is meant to be a bit softer. I know the car isn't damaged, but it almost feels like it is. It feels not as good for the stage as it did in the last one. Maybe the setup isn't right at this particular stage. I know it's just not gripping like it was before. I probably seem to slow down a bit. See, look, ah, banks, get off. They just, they just kind of turn into ditches. I don't like the stage. Be over, please. So this is what happens when I drive over three stages at a time. The ability just goes. Ah, oh, it's the end. But we still win by a massive chunk of time. I don't understand this. This uh, okay, I think the AI are uh, uh, said snow on the gra snow on the grass. Slow on the snow. I might have, yeah, my god, my my mind, I'm, I'm quite tired. Look at that car, that rollover damage. 
So minus 12.1 Celsius. So we set snow tires or snow tires? Let's go to snow tires. Can you imagine being, oh god, I, I've, it's never really gets that cold in England. The coldest it gets here is like minus five or minus six overnight, like when it's really cold in the winter. Um, I can't imagine anything lower than that. I don't want to. I see I went skiing once, so it was damn cold there, but uh, I had loads of very warm clothes on. Wouldn't that be great, attaching like a, a rope to the back of this car and have someone ski behind you? I think uh, Jeremy Clarkson did something similar in Top Gear once. Not of a rally car though. Ah, oh, hitting the bump. You just break your ankles. <laughs> your leg has just come off. Maybe it's not, not a good idea. Not the tree. There's trees everywhere. <laughs> Let's don't go back into that one. I had my road turn then, my accelerator, and, and then it just went, yep, another tree. I can last where. Here. This turn looks familiar. Can you go, please, car? Yeah, see, the momentum is. I think I'll have to start using that handbrake a bit more just to turn the car. And I can use power to kind of come out of it. Ooh! I have to say dead centre, like in the road at the moment. Yeah, we're down there, I'm not really surprised. So you can break there just to turn the car a tiny bit. And again, getting full lock to the right there, just a bit too enthusiastic trying to get the car turned in and ends up going the wrong way. <laughs> Oh, it's this one, okay. A bit of advice that I often forget when I'm going through hairpins is to, once if you're braking down and your car is turning, like as in mid kind of handbrake turn, dump the clutch and rev it and then let it out again. And then obviously accelerate. And you'll get a nice, nice run out of the corner. I'll try and demonstrate if there's another hairpin. But it's quite it's quite a hard thing to do. Like it, it's like heel and toe almost. It requires practice. Or you end up just smashing around pedals. I can't do it anyway. Even you guys might be able to, but I can't. Not every time perfect. That was a bit scary. Nearly went into that frozen lake there. Am I going to go in the frozen lake? No, 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 no. What the hell did I hit? Frozen lake for the win. What did I even hit there? I must be like a boulder or something. An ice boulder. Or a bear that's hibernating. That's probably... I've killed a bear. Do bears live in Finland? I don't think they do. Jimmy knows wildlife and geography. Oh, sugar. Sugar lumps. 24 seconds down. Sorry, we've got time to spare. Turn, maybe. Easy right into easy left. I actually use a clutch there, so I'd have oversteer around that corner. Just brake traction and turn the car a bit. It worked, but you know, it was because I messed up. What is going on with these corners? Am I driving? I need to slow down a bit. Okay, I said that already, and I haven't done it yet. The surface is different, that's why. It's like icy road now, it's not snow. So we're sliding on this. We aren't really gripping that much. That's better. Turn. There you go. We're good again. No, we're not. <laughs> Why? Yeah, I'm not yet there for trying to do the old handbrake thing through here, so. In. See, it works better for tighter corners, but you get the idea. You can see the rev raise up and then I get a better run through there. Yeah, 
You could just smash it through there and get a better time, but I don't want to do that. The car's already bent out of shape as it is. And I didn't win that stage, what a surprise, but I didn't come too far behind, so I'm not too fussed about that. Okay, last stage. And it's snowing. It would snow for the last stage, wouldn't it? Oh my god, I can't see anything. Three, that wind. <laughs> that one, wiper sound. I've never actually dri driven when it's been snowing before, so I'm not quite sure what effect it has. I think it's just visibility, because we've already got snow tyres on. Normally when you see me going to these corners and then just smashing the throttle, it's more to keep the car from going wide than for actual pace. Like, if you want to go faster, you need to kind of work on traction, not do what I'm doing, which is kind of just smashing the throttle, like I said, to keep the car in check. Because this is four-wheel drive and has pretty decent grip, like, it'll pretty much go in the direction that you're pointing it when you put your foot down, so if you're going to a corner too fast, you can just about get away with it sometimes if you manage to pull the back end around and then hit the throttle. Here, that wasn't really a good example of it. It's just a lot more difficult to see. I feel very Christmassy though, which is uh, probably not the best thing, seeing as it's uh, February. <laughs> February already, Jesus. Man. Time flies, man. Time flies. Oh, that's going to be a treat. Oh, so I went through that one. Maybe I was carrying more speed, hadn't I? <laughs> Come on. Something I didn't know about this game, it came out on the uh, Xbox and the PS2, I never knew that, and uh, I asked Mr. Bailey what it was like, and he said it was uh, just difficult on the uh, the console, except you had a, a, pit, uh, a pad as opposed to a steering wheel, so that's something I wouldn't like to do, given even though I am a PS3 pad warrior when it comes to sim racing, but uh, no thank you, <laughs> is what I have to say about that. Just avoid those trees, just go for a little trip. The driving in these last couple stages hasn't been too great. Actually, I'm pretty tired, so I'm surprised I'm even recording this at all. As I again further iterate that I cannot drive. Maybe the snow makes the road slippier. I see fresh snow, especially if cars have run through it already, because it kind of it would go into kind of sludgy stuff in real life. What's this hilarious right? There it is. Good turn, Jim. Good turn. I'm just taking it really slowly. I don't really need to go that fast. I've pretty much already run, but I need to just get to the end. I need to just get to the end. Oh. I smashed it into something. We have a bent up rear end now. Because YOLO. Easy right, easy left, I'm, I'm getting through this season mode fairly quickly, so would you guys like to see another season mode, but let's say with um, like different cars, like you know, older WRC cars or Group B cars? I don't even know. Can someone explain to me what happened there? Anyone? Anyone at all? The car's went, nah, you know what, I'm done. I'm having a sleep. Easy right into fast left into this car affects my uh, my wishes right now, I guess. Easy right Downhill! When will it end? When will it end? I'm keeping middle. Two seconds behind. Nah. Nah, 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 nah. No. Even more of a nah. Trees, trees, trees. That's how you avoid trees. That's how you rally. 
500 XP, tree of avoidance. <laughs> Twisty, oh now you tell me. Thanks, guys. Goddamn car driver, there's none of the road left. Is the snow covering it up, or is it just the road getting less? That'd be cool if the snow's covering it up. Although terrible, but cool at the same time. Terrible because I can't see it, cool because it's realistic ish. You can tell with the bandages of the track though, is because you can feel it in the in the in the traction of the car. So late on the the left. I can't slow down in that amount of time from that speed in these conditions. Ooh, oh my god. When, when does this end? Oh, that's that was good timing. Finish! Terry hit the tree as well. I really expect I thought I was going to go and tell him. Did we win that stage? I'd be surprised if we did, because that was a pretty poor showing. Well, I'm, a, I'm surprised. <laughs> we did win the stage. Awesome! Let's save our progress and go back to where we belong. Top of the podium. <laughs> this guy on the right is like, nah, nah, I'm, I'm not happy with that. And why does my guy never take his helmet off? I assume that's my guy. I don't know, maybe he's mysterious. Um, so yeah, that is a second win in three races. I just skipped over the stage by mistake. There, but there's the championship. We're winning by ten points. So doing pretty rad. Next, next rally is the American Rally. There is an awesome stage in there called Fraser Wells, which is like a two, two and a half minute um, speed fest. It's very difficult. I'm looking forward to driving that. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this slightly longer episode to make up for me being uh, a bit inconsistent with the, uh, the the videos in general. So uh, thanks for your patience there. And uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed it. And I will see you next time. Goodbye, everyone.